it is just so damn expensive and the reality of that setting in kind of sucks. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you are new here. Today we are going on another apartment hunt. If you are new here, definitely go check out my other videos. I have two other videos about my apartment hunting process so far in New York City. TLDR, I am looking for a new apartment. I have a few months until my current lease is up and I never got to do the formal apartment hunting process on my own a year ago when I moved here. So I decided why not finally do it for myself and take you guys along. So today I'm touring the neighborhood of Chelsea. Fun fact about the Chelsea neighborhood, it has been one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York for years. The very first time I ever came to New York, very many years ago, I stumbled upon Chelsea. I didn't even know what it was, but I absolutely fell in love since then. I've stayed in hotels, Airbnbs around that area. I just increasingly love it more and more. I actually put on my vision board one year that I do want to live in Chelsea one day. And obviously there's still so much time to make that dream a reality. Yes, I do love so many other areas in Manhattan, but today I really wanted to dedicate the video to seeing what is in the Chelsea neighborhood. If you do not know, Chelsea is on the west side of Manhattan and it is downtown. I think it's a perfect area. It's so beautiful, so many shops, so walkable and so beautiful, so many shops, so walkable, and I'm so excited to take you guys along for the journey. Subscribe, click that like button. Let's get into the tours. to say is that it is frustrating when listing agents say to come at one time and they're not there because I obviously stacked the day based on like what I wanted to see in the area so this is pushing back other appointments which is frustrating so I've literally just been standing here for the last 10 minutes thankfully I'm not outside because it's freezing just something of note this is apartment number one. The first con was that it was on the fifth floor. So a fifth floor walk up is a lot. The bedroom wasn't super big. It did get nice light because of how high up it was, but it wasn't huge. It's probably as big as my bedroom now. The closet was not super big as well. Yes, there was an overhead space above this, but this is the only closet in the entire apartment. So that's not enough space. The bathroom was a pretty decent size. It had a tub. And if you've seen my other videos, a tub is a common theme throughout all these apartments, which is something that I do not currently have and I would want. I do like that there is a window to get some nice light. A con was that there was barely any bathroom storage. Now here we are in the kitchen. I think that the layout was actually pretty nice. I did like the built-in island. The appliances were fairly new. There was good cabinet space. Something I am a little confused about is why the landlords or the building owners leave things looking a little unfinished because I get it that they have to clean the apartments, but it didn't give the best look that it looked a little disheveled with things all over the place. I tried to take a lot of that out of this video. Then we have a AC unit, which comes with the apartment. So that was great. And then there was a lot of good light in this apartment, I have to say. I like these light fixtures. In this clip, I step back just to see the light coming in. And then here is the furnace, which is the heater. And there's only one. So he said it radiates through the apartment. And now off to the second apartment. Yeah. Here's apartment number two. I really love the brick. The brick was a big standout for me. This is the sliding door that connects the living room to the bedroom. I've mentioned before that I would rather have a true door rather than a sliding door. 
but apparently these are pretty common in Manhattan. Now we're in the bedroom area. Definitely bigger than my current bedroom, which is great. It's actually a really good unit. And you listen to to me. I really like the faux fireplace as well as the nice light that comes into the apartment. A con is that there was no closet in the bedroom and I would prefer that. Now this is the kitchen. The kitchen has that island again as well. It's a little compact, but it does have sufficient cabinet space and all the appliances you would need. All the appliances actually look pretty updated as well, which I thought was a good touch. This is the one and only closet in the apartment. It is pretty big. It is a walk-in closet. However, I'm not sure how the shelving would go if you build some shelving, but it does go back pretty deep. So that's something I tried to imagine how that would work out for me. I also really liked that there were mirrors in front of the closet. Now we're in the bathroom. The bathroom is a pretty standard size. There is under the sink storage, which I like. There's behind the mirror storage. I like the tiles. So this is such, this is a nice apartment. I actually really like it so far. Now we're walking through the hallway. I completely forgot about the additional storage space and closets in the hallway. So there is two. So that definitely makes up for not having one in the bedroom. Now here I am just doing a walkthrough of the whole space. We definitely have the different sections. We have the living room, we have the kitchen, we have the bedroom. It is a pretty decent size in my opinion. And now on to the next. Here is apartment three. It is quite similar to apartment two because they were on the same street. There were three closets, pretty big closets actually, which was great. Here is the bathroom. There was sufficient storage throughout. There's a tub, the tiles, the windows, the works. Moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen was compact. I personally didn't love the different colored cabinets. The stove and oven were a little smaller than an average one. Moving on to the bedroom. The bedroom was a decent size as well. Definitely can fit a queen bed and pretty good light. I really liked this cove that connected the living room to the kitchen. I think that's a fun touch. You know me, I love my brick. This is the hallway view and then a pan into the living room space. Another potential tenant I was with pointed out that the floors were dirty and I agreed with her. Now on to the fourth apartment. On to the fourth and final apartment of the day. I'm so tired, but it's been a good day of looking at apartments so far and I cannot wait to be done. Here's apartment four. I'm just so excited about this one. And you'll hear that throughout this voiceover. Huge, absolutely huge. It is two floors, guys. I have to emphasize, these are the cool trace lights, little view of the kitchen, the staircase. We we're starting downstairs. I looked in the storage under the stairs. And then we get to the bedroom, which is massive so big this video i feel like doesn't even do it justice it is a huge bedroom and then there is a mini closet in the bedroom but then we come over here and we basically have a full walk-in closet this is a dream this is a closet room this is amazing so just when i thought that it couldn't get better than this it totally gets better when we go upstairs. So now we're back upstairs where we started and we are going to detail the kitchen. The kitchen is immaculate. The marble countertops, the dishwasher, the subway tiles, the fact that this kitchen wraps around and then you get like a surprise space in the back. Like I love this little. 
this is amazing. Cabinets galore. You can literally fit oh. so much in this kitchen alone. I was blown away. Throughout this viewing, I was just chatting with the listing agent who was also the co-architect. It's so big. And then this, this surprise one, I was like, oh, wow, hello. And the dishwasher, which you never see anymore. Oh, well, this fan. And I do like the floors. Um, Wow, okay. He was Very incredibly nice, nice answered nice. all my questions. So shout out to him. So this apartment was yeah. definitely made with so much care oh, and I was so impressed. That apartment was so nice. It is a dream. A few drawbacks, but it was a dream. All right guys, stay tuned for a much needed debrief on the apartments. I'm back from touring the Chelsea apartments. You can chat about them. Overall, the experience of going to see each one of these apartments was definitely different than all the other ones in my search so far across all the videos I've had, mainly because every single one I toured today in Chelsea was accompanied by the listing agent. I actually now know that I love self-guided tours and there are so many self-guided tours in New York, which I am so happy about. If you don't know what a self-guided tour is, the listing agent on Street Easy can do stuff on the back end to have you just come in and see the apartment on your own, on your own time, take pictures, do whatever you need to do to really get a feel of the space independently so no one else is going to be there that is what i prefer based on my experience because today was very interesting the first listing agent who took me to the first three apartments that i saw he definitely came off very standoffish and personally i did not love that i'm going to be very honest about that he made me feel kind of uncomfortable in terms of wanting to like take videos, meaning he was like, well, they're the same as they're on Street Easy. And I'm like, no, they're not. And he was like, yeah, they're pretty much, things like that. So that was already like a turnoff in terms of the interaction with him, unfortunately. I was cordial, I was completely pleasant and fine the entire time, but that was definitely in the back of my head. Like I felt like I couldn't fully dive into the spaces as much as I wanted to. I did still take all the videos that I wanted to because I know that I have a right to do that when I'm looking at an apartment. Just news for you guys, if you're getting shown places by a listing agent, just make sure to stand your ground, take as much time as you need because you're the one who is ultimately potentially going to sign that lease and live there. So no one should ever make you feel uncomfortable about taking videos or asking a ton of questions. And I had came with so many questions. It seemed like he was like agitated, which was not great. But I wanted to get that out of the way. We can now talk about the Chelsea neighborhood itself. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I absolutely love Chelsea. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods. It was really nice to get to just walk around to the apartments that I saw today. They were on a few different streets in the Chelsea area. Overall, there was one that I absolutely loved so much. However, the one big drawback was there wasn't a lot of light and full-time content creators having natural light is very very important to me i'm still really interested in it it was at the very top of my price point as well too that's something i absolutely did have to consider as well because if i am hitting the very top of my price point i want basically everything that I want. I also want to say right now that in New York, no matter where you see, there will be at least one drawback because there isn't a true perfect New York apartment. Despite whatever anyone wants to tell you, there is no true perfect apartment. There are things that I have to forego to get something else and vice versa. Now I'm realizing that light is one of my highest priorities given my job. That is just kind of something I wanted to debrief and share with you guys. I'm still looking, I'm still very much on the hunt and I really want to venture into the neighborhoods of Soho, West Village, and I know as I get further down, it gets more expensive, like Soho, West Village, NoHo. There was another one that was on the top of my head. Those areas come with a higher price tag. Like I showed in my first apartment hunting video, only put my filters to max 3000. So yes, 
I have seen some in the Soho, West Village, NoHo area. However, they are definitely lacking in a lot more things, meaning once you cap it at that, that is actually on the lower side, which blows your mind, right? It is just so damn expensive. And the reality of that setting in kind of sucks. Living here is so great. And I personally have loved living here for the past year, but I also have to be super realistic with my next year here and see what is feasible and what's not based on my income and based on things that I want in a day to day and the amenities, things like that. These are all so important to think about and really think about. I mean, take time, make a pros and cons list. I'm big on a pros and cons list, figuring out what I can really see for myself and what I can be completely okay with letting go of and sacrificing in a way to make something else work. I am in that process right now. I loved going to Chelsea like I said, maybe there are more Chelsea apartments that I will see in the next few weeks. My plan is to definitely go see more apartments, see how the market is still. Like I said in my first video, this is definitely the time to be looking for apartments. If you are thinking about moving to New York, this is your window. This was exactly what I was told a year ago and this is exactly what I've been told literally in the last three weeks is that from December to end of February, early March. That is the best window of time to be looking for apartments, making your decision, signing your lease and moving in because it is honestly just cheaper overall. So you are getting a more bang for your buck and I know it's still super expensive, but you know what I mean. The best time of the year to make that leap. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still looking at apartments. Definitely hope to see all those other areas before solidifying and making my final decision. But also I am very well aware that there are some that might not be available tomorrow or the next day, because that's how fast things turn around. People submit their applications the day, the hour in which they see it they can get approved or it falls through and then the process keeps on going. So it is so fast. Things happen so fast here as the New York mindset is. I'm completely okay with that because as I said, my lease isn't up until March. So I still have a good amount of time to look and that's why I'm bringing these videos to you guys to take you guys through my thought process in terms of what I'm looking for, but also just the journey itself is actually really eye-opening and I didn't get to do this a year ago, so I'm happy I get to do this now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am loving creating these videos and I'm so happy that you guys like them as well. I'm loving all the new faces I'm seeing on my channel. It makes me so happy bringing one these videos to you guys, but also sharing a little bit of my life with you guys as well, because obviously that's what YouTube is all about and I absolutely love this platform so much. Please subscribe if you are new here. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my my next video.